oven roasted lemon pepper turkey. Thanksgiving dinner will never be the same again. This here is something special in the vine. And I can't wait for you to try it and really show off in the kitchen right now. So let's get right on into it and let's get started. So to begin, you wanna grab some room temperature unsalted butter, as well as the dry ingredients I have listed on the screen. And don't you worry, they will be listed down in the description box as well. So go ahead and get everything combined into this bowl. This is a compound butter that we're gonna use to stuff under the skin of our turkey and make it oh so good. All right, so now that you have that together, go ahead and grab your beautiful turkey. This is like a 11 pound bird or so. Um, and cooking time will vary depending on the size of your bird, but we'll, we'll get to that later. All right, so what I'm doing is just using my hand to kind of loosen up that skin a bit. Be gentle. You don't want to tear up that beautiful skin. You're just trying to loosen it up to make space for that wonderful butter. So you're gonna grab a heaping handful and just stuff it in there. Use your other hand to kind of massage that butter deep, deep, deep into that turkey right there, just like so. And once we have that taken care of, we'll move on to the next step. Also a quick note, make sure your turkey is close to room temperature. Do not, I repeat, do not stick a cold turkey in the oven. <laughs> it will be a disaster. <laughs> but let me know down in the comments, have you ever tried use some lemon pepper turkey? When I tell you this is bussing, when I tell you this is amazing, it just don't do it justice. You gotta taste this right here. And believe me, it is pressure. All right, so moving on, we're gonna inject this turkey as well. And again, I have the ingredients listed on the screen and they will be listed in the description box as well. So get that in this bowl right here and give it a mix. You wanna have yourself like an injection needle ready to go so we can have the inside of this turkey oh so flavorful as well. So go ahead and fill that up and just start injecting all over this turkey. You do want to give that breast some extra attention, if you know what I mean, and make sure the inside of that breast is so, so good. But overall, you just want to go around the entire turkey, the leg, the thigh, the wing, everywhere, and inject this wonderful butter sauce right into that bird. So once you have your turkey all injected up with that wonderful butter sauce, we're gonna drizzle a little bit of oil on this bad boy, massage it all in, and you know we gotta season this turkey up oh so proper. On the screen you'll see again the dry ingredients that we are gonna be using to do so. So go ahead and get that seasoning blend together and be very generous and deliberate with the seasoning right here. Do not be stingy. This is the time to just let it go, let it fly, you know what I mean? And uh, you know what they say, if you ain't sneezing, you ain't seasoning, baby. So go ahead and make sure that bird is well coated up in this goodness. You don't wanna rub it in, just pat it on, you feel me? Pat it on the turkey, just like so. So once we have our turkey seasoned up, you can use regular old stuffing, but I like to do this right here. I like to put some onions, some rosemary, some thyme, celery, carrots, and so much more on the inside. It's gonna add a wonderful fragrance, a wonderful flavor to this turkey right here. 
all right so i'm gonna get that all up in there and i'm also gonna grab some cooking twine once we have it stuffed up and we're gonna tie these legs together baby And a very important note as well, keep a thermometer handy. Keep a thermometer handy. Nobody likes a overcooked dry turkey. We're not having none of that today, okay? So, you know, keep your eye on that temperature, guys. Keep an eye on that temperature. I like to pull mines, you know, when my breast is about, you know, 151. 160 in that range that's when i like to pull it out of the oven and let it rest and if you're new to the channel you already know what to do hit that subscribe button and rock that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest video you know you gotta leave a like if you like what you see because i know i do and uh comment let me know what you think so far this is gonna be absolutely spectacular when it's done i'm telling you so I'm just gonna tie up the turkey with this twine and I'm gonna set it into a roasting pan, okay? And you wanna go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees at this point. 350, baby. And we're gonna cover this turkey up once we have it in the pan and we're gonna toss this bad boy in the oven. And in a second here, you are gonna see a chart that gives you a general idea of the cooking time depending on the weight of your turkey. That's very important because the cooking time will vary depending on how big your turkey is, okay? Uh, so, the chart says 325, I did 350, I prefer 350, okay? Take my word. So, mine's took about almost two, maybe two hours 20 minutes in the last 45 minutes or so you have to uncover the foil so that skin can get nice and crispy like this okay and once that's said and done you want to go ahead and drop some of this wonderful wonderful lemon pepper butter sauce right on top of that skin to just set it off okay and don't forget to let your turkey rest for, you know, a good 10, 15 minutes as well so it can stay nice and juicy. But this is it right here, baby. And believe me, I'm telling you, Thanksgiving will never be the same. This is something else right here. This is something special. You ain't going to get at no regular old Thanksgiving dinner. This is, this is it. This the one. This is that recipe right here. And I can't wait for you to try it. I know you're going to love it. If you like what you see, make sure you comment down below. And let me know what you think. And I'll see you all on the next video. Don't forget to leave your boy a like as well. Deuces.